Um, we're all wrong, completely wrong. I was all wrong. Probably set the wrong um, clue out there, I guess. So anyway, um, he's pulled the um, head apart, and um, it's nothing to do with timing belt or anything like this. Says that's okay. Um, as you'll see from the photos coming up now, um, it's basically the the valve, the exhaust valve, I think it is. He said. Um, has separated from the stem, so I don't quite. I'm not mechanical, so I don't know the exact words, but the um, the head of the valve has separated from the 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 stem or the shaft of the valve. Now the shaft of the valve or the stem of the valve um, is still going up and down. It's lubricated. It's got oil on it. It's going up and down um, in its correct position and everything. So it literally is the the head of the valve has come off the top of the stem. Okay, um, and to me, when you look at the metal, um, I can't tell. Obviously, you'd have to go properly analyse. But when you look at the metal um, on the, where, where it's fractured, it, it to me it looks like it was weakened anyway. It looks like there's, you know, the way it's fractured is not it's not clean. You'd expect sort of a clean break. But you can see almost if there's something's been been there. If you look at the photos, um, um, all the time it looks like there's, there was a, a weakness in the metal anyway. So anyway, um, that's what's that's the cause. That's the cause of the engine failure. Doesn't help me. Still without a bike. Still have an expensive bill ahead. Um, well, hopefully not. Um, they've reapplied, even though the bike is only 18 months old and it's done 24,000 kilometres. So it's done, you know, it's done a little bit more. Than the average person would do in that time period, maybe. Um, he said the oil's clean, the oil's good, which is because you know I've only recently serviced it. Well, you know, in the last um, 5,000 k, is it? For, I can't remember if it's k's or miles, but within the last service interval, because the um, I reset the service light every time, um, and the service light um, has not come back on yet. So I know the the oil filter and air filter and everything else doesn't need changing. Um, so he's going to send it um, off to um, to Melbourne to the importer, basically, and the importer is going to recontact um, Royal Enfield. So the bike is actually out of warranty because it's done, let's say, it's done 24,000 kilometres, but only in 18 months. It's a 20,000 two-year warranty, so it, it fails it on the 20,000 k. So it's just out of warranty, literally about well, it's not even 4,000. It's about 3,800, something like that, out of warranty. So they're going to send it off to um, India again and um, find out if there's any recourse, you know, from a consumer law perspective that this really isn't fit for use. This is not fit for purpose. It's not built for its intended use. Um, there seems to be no other reason there in the engine as to why it would seize. It literally is that valve coming off the top of its stem um, and that's what's done all the damage, obviously, from there on. Um, so I'll let you know, I don't know, it's maybe another week um, before I hear back from the guys in Melbourne from India, so it's just entering the weekend now, it's Friday night, um, so I probably won't hear from them. So anyway, um, please give me a big um, thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel, um, just to let you know, I have been um, test riding other, well not test riding, I've been to view other bikes, but there's no stock anywhere for new bikes in Australia for the bike I'm looking at. Um, so, <laughs> kind of stuffed at the moment because um, next month I've got to fill in the shipping forms um, for the around the world to get the bike across to um, Los Angeles. And there's only one shipment a year going out, so I'm kind of stuffed at the moment. I don't, I don't know what's happened with the Royal Enfield. Um, I can't get the other bike that I want. I've um, been sort of reviewing a few bikes. Like I said, I couldn't get any to test drive because there's none, none on the forecourts um, over here at the moment. So. Uh, a bit stuffed at the moment. Um, <laughs> anyway, if I don't take the Himalayan, put in the comments which bike you'd take.